brings you out today? Uh, well, we're here for the uh, ceremony and we represent the Atascacita Trail Society for Children in the American Revolution in San Jacinto uh, chapter of the DAR. Heritage Trails is also here. And everybody's, everybody's proud to be here. And, and Very proud to be here. We come every year. It's a great honor to be able to give back just a little bit to what these men and women have done for us. And what will they be doing? They're, they're gonna... They've got a wreath and some flowers and some flags. Y'all tell them, are you proud to walk? <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> again. And who is it? Are we, are, we, are we representing characters or just, are we just like... Um, period. Costume. Yes. Period. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. you hold up that flag? Splash. I want to see that flag. Splash. That's a beautiful one. Linda, what, what brings you out today? Well, I'm a retired um, staff sergeant from the United States Army in Communications, and we're here to just celebrate all the Gold Star families and all the fallen brothers and sisters of all our wars, and just to give honor to everybody. And, and, and talk about how everybody comes together today, like like a day today where, just to remember. And yes, everyone does come together, and they just show all their respect, and we do honor our old glory. Old glory's been through a lot of tough times, so we do got to uh, support our flag and, and uh, support all the men and women and the families that support them. So we really appreciate everybody who, the all volunteer army and the veterans from the Vietnam and the people who were drafted. So, we, amen. And what, what's your name? And what, 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 Linda Kelly. And you were with what uh, division? I uh, was with, uh, in, well, a retired army. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Out today. Well, it's, it's the time that we want to honor all of our veterans and uh, give them the honor they deserve for serving our country. And um, you're, in the, you're in the Air Force, sir? Absolutely. I was in the Air Force from 72 to 76, and uh, I served right after Vietnam was ending, and uh, I was ready for whatever, for, for whatever it was they asked me to do. And then today, when people come together, how, how is it nice for it to see people come here? Oh, it's great to see everybody coming together because uh, Americans need to realize that this is what it's all about. This is what we're here. This is what we're here for to serve our country. What's your name, sir? Uh, Ruben Diaz, R U B E N D I A Z. And United States uh, Air Force. The United States Air Force. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thank you. It. Today, yes, sir. What are you been doing today? Uh, I'm just here to pay respects, show respects to our fallen. That's what the To Me Memorial Day is about. And, and to see all these people come today, come here, I mean, it's a good day. Yes, it's a, it's a very emotional feeling, especially to the young who need to know about what it means to be appreciative towards our country and to those who step to the plate to uh, defend it. Even if that means they're long, losing their own lives. They, we could give our lives today so they can have tomorrow, so be it. And, and you're, you're bringing the, the American crowd, you're, you're holding the crowd. Talk about how, how, how you just feel. It's, it's an honor to be here. I mean, I have four uncles here and a friend of mine who got, I graduated high school from with. And uh, he uh, went through Desert Storm and uh, was killed in a motorcycle accident. Were but, you able to visit everyone? On the yes, yes, they're here. Okay. Were, you, were you in the uh, Yes, I was with the uh, U.S. Army, 1st Army Division, Artillery, in uh, Nuremberg, West Germany. And um, like I said, what's your, what's your whole name? Daniel Martinez. Thanks, Daniel. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, sir.
This time I'm going to ask the elite pace stage 
Captain William J. Corp, please come forward for the invitation.
Carlos to car. Star mothers.
opportunity to say a few words to you on this solemn day here in what I consider sacred grounds of the Houston National Cemetery. Freedom is free. Today's, that is today's theme. And moving scene of America this is. I am honored and privileged to be here today with the representation from the United States Senate, Congressman Gene Green, Congressman Al Green, Congressman Ted Poe, and Congressman John Culberson. We like meeting here every year, and we are determined to continue to meet you and thank you. This is a day to be reminded of those who have fallen. And I want to say to the families that are gathered here today, it is a privilege to come and honor you and honor those Americans who have come to respect those who put on the uniform and have fallen in battle. I want to say thank you for the families who have lost their soldiers
Counts was performed by Sergeant Mark Pilato, United States Marine Corps. Today is the day we remember those who went and fought and died, and that is the purpose of Memorial Day, and it's a great tribute uh, that was shown here by the people of Houston to come out here and honor our war dead. When you see all the people that come to support, I mean, it's a great feeling It's in emotionally encouraging the support that Texans have for our military, especially the military that has given their lives for the rest of us. And, how, and, and just how people are lucky to have a memorial like we have here, where people can come and, and, and they can just play on every day if they want. That is true. This, this cemetery is the second largest uh, cemetery in the world that honors our war dead, right here in Houston, Texas. And it's uh, a tribute that people can come to any time of the year. And they really shouldn't wait till Memorial Day to come. But the flags that are on all of the graves here today, uh, it's very moving. The people should come and honor those who have served the rest of us. Just for the producers, say your name. Ted Poe, member of Congress. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Could you take it again, please? This camera. The importance of today, Congressman. When I looked out uh, into uh, uh, the array of Americans, you could not help but feel emotional about those young men and women who died in battle. And to also be emotional about men uh, such as the ones we see here today in uniform and women who put on the uniform uh, without uh, one moment of complaint unselfishly. So today I viewed it as a moment of respect, but thank you. There were mothers and fathers whose children died on the battlefield. I also thought of the fact that many times in battle you die alone, uh, and it is up to your comrades, your uh, fellow soldiers and others to pray and to ask God's blessings upon you. That is what America is saying today as we come to this very uh, honored ground, is that we're asking God's blessings and we're making a commitment uh, as a member of the United States Congress to not only recognize them and recognize those who did come back from war, but to make a commitment not to send any man or woman in harm's way foolishly without thought, without deliberation, without prayer, because as they protect our nation, 
they're willing to sacrifice their life. Thanks, Sheila Jackson Lee. You, you had a, a, a great speech up there. Just, just reiterate what you said to, to the people. Well, I want people to appreciate and understand why we have restful nights, why we have peace in our country. And it's because while we're asleep, there is a National Guardsman who's on duty, a Coast Guardsman that's on watch. There's an Army, uh, there's a Navy SEAL that's locked and loaded. There is an Air Force B-1 pilot ready to fly. We sleep well at night because they're willing to make sacrifices. And I think it's important for us to never forget we are the land of the free, not only because we are the home of the brave, but also because there are people who are willing to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. When you come today and you see all these people, it just, you, can't be, you can't help but just feel it. Well, the, the feeling here is one of uh, caring and concern. Caring and concern for the family members of those who have lost their lives, made the ultimate sacrifice, and concern for the future. But the future holds promise for us because we have men and women who are willing to go to distant places and who are always come home the way they left, but they always, they always are prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice so that we can have better lives. I just talk about just the whole thing, how it always touches your heart. You, you can't feel but just shed a little tear. Yeah. Well, we do have tears to well in our eyes as we hear from people who are the relatives and descendants of those who have made the sacrifice as we understand that the greatness of America does not lie in our tall buildings, does not lie in our riches, but it really lies in those who lie in these gardens of those who have transitioned, who have made the ultimate sacrifice. Our greatness lies in these cemeteries, these places where men and women have died so that we could have better lives. So we can never forget the reason for our greatness, the reason we have peace, the reason we have the degree of harmony in our country that we do is because there are others who are willing to go without this country and make sacrifices. Just say your name for the uh, producers back in the state. I'm Congressman Al Green. I love my country and I'm proud to be a citizen of the United States of America. Thank you, sir. The truth, these guys are phonies. What has happened in our Veterans Administration? They have this, they took our funds away from us and put to the, the refugees and they're pretending, okay, this is what's going on with VA. They're the ones that are responsible. They're the ones that think that they're doing nothing up here. But all of us that are veterans know. And so, what, exactly is happening, sir? what, is, what do you mean? Like, what, 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 is, what did they take away from you? They had, they had funds allowed for us veterans. They had allocated Got up to president, he... Well, uh, actually, if you want to know the story behind it, it's actually from a, uh, well, somebody might have to help me with the history, but for sure it is from a soldier that served there in D-Day because uh, of the, the emblem that the label that is on it. So that's an actual World War II? Yes, I'll show you the label. Also, the one stripe on it shows he served one year of active duty, which means he would have ended there and he would have ended with World War II. Um, the label right here shows you that it's official. Let's see. It yeah. has dated July 27, 1944. And the, the company, the, P, the Philadelphia QM, if you Google that, it shows it's, it's the company. How did, how did you get it, ma'am? Um, I got it from an estate sale. Yeah. yeah. And, you, and you wear it probably, obviously. I very, very proud. This is my greatest gift in the world. No diamonds or golds or anything like that. But the, the company that makes it actually makes the United States flags for uh, Washington, D.C. The president's uh, suits, from what I understand, when I researched it. Yeah. What, what do you think about today's ceremony? I'm sorry? What do you think about today's ceremony? Oh, it was absolutely beautiful. It was my first time with my daughter. My dad volunteered there in Korea. Uh, he wanted to do combat, but he was colorblind, so he worked on the planes. My uncle, uh, Robert Dulay, uh, served in, there in Korea in the, as a Marine. Um, I mean, is it just a moving day where, where people talk about how, how, how they how lost you? And you're here to remember, to remember everyone, just talk about it. Oh, well, remembering people who, who give us our freedom and, and, and how much they gave for us to have our freedom. 
But then when you, what you see every day on the news of all these evil things going on, you just can't believe that people can do that. And so many good people fought for America to have a beautiful life.